but it up but a boop it's music lover with a special video on the brown out touch I did not expect to be making this but 4.0 has been released for the Braille Note Touch, and I am going to show you not the full update process, but how to update your Braille Note Touch. I will be talking about like what it does as it updates and what you'll see. First of all, before we begin the update, let's talk about battery usage. If you want to update your Braille Note when it's not charging, you need at least 50% of your battery. If you want it to be updating while it's charging, you need at least 20% of your battery. Let's unlock my screen and check my battery. Here we go. Locked. 434. Monday, July 31st. 4.34 p.m. Device unlocked. Main menu. Battery. 69% not charging. And it was just at 70%. I just made a video. All applications. Now let's go into key updater from all applications. Main menu all apps. Key above me cat cut key 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 lives key met key key keys for key updater. Enter. Key updater. System update. An update is available online. And as you see, click to install. And I'm gonna click enter. Update menu. Read release notes. Let's re let's re read the release notes just to see what new features are gonna be for this update. I can't wait. I'm gonna click enter. It's gonna load up a website. Edit box. Release notes. Braille note touch 4.0. Close tab button. New tab. Human red dot CAC back button. Side reload one menu. One tab button. Menu. Release notes. Braille note Deutsch link front sale Braille note touch version 4.0. Release notes heading level 1. As usual. Braille Note Touch version 4 is a free update for existing Braille Note Touch users. Simply ensure your touch is connected to the internet and you should receive a notification that a system update is available. If you do not receive such a notification, you can manually start the update by opening Key Updater from the All Applications menu. New Features, Heading Level 2. Now this is going to be interesting, New Features. The Braille Note Touch can now be encrypted. From the Android system settings, open the security menu and ensure you have created a lock screen password. If you use one. Open the Encrypt Tablet menu and with the device connected to power, press the Encrypt Tablet button. The encryption process can take an hour to complete. Note that encrypting your Braille Note Touch will require you to always enter a password to both boot and unlock your touch. First item list three items. I'm not going to do that. Key updater gets a huge update. What? In addition to being able to update your Braille Note Touch wirelessly, Key Updater now obtains the ability to update individual apps and services as updates become available. <gasps> yes! This allows for two major benefits. One, anytime an app has an update, the entire system no longer needs to be updated. Allowing for much faster updates of apps. Yes. And two, humanware will be able to push out updates of apps and features on a faster time schedule. Awesome. App updates coming shortly. That means probably you can turn them off if you don't want to, like YouTube. KeyMath now supports the translation of the French math braille code to perfect looking print math. Okay, I don't know. Last that. item fixes and enhancements, heading level fixed issues with the most recent versions of YouTube and Google Classroom <gasps> apps. First item list six items. When using the touch as a braille terminal, the input mode will now automatically be set to touch braille or physical keyboard. Fix the navigation issue in the options menu where the top of the list could not be reached. I didn't know about that new version of KNFB Reader, which supports new languages and updated PDF OCR engine. Nice! Now scanning of existing PDF documents will be significantly improved. Coolio! Traditional Keysoft navigation now included. Space to move forward. Backspace to move back. Oh, the... <gasps> this is a huge advantage, guys, because like on the Apex, when you hit space... See? 
you can't do that but yeah now that they add this this will be a benefit because I always do that I always love using space and backspace fixed a calculator issue when a user's localization is set to Danish where the symbols were not correctly displayed last item added localizations heading level 2 Spanish first item list four items Italian German Brazilian Portuguese last item bottom all right, these are all the release notes. Let's go back. Update menu. Read release notes. Begin update. Let's begin the update. Enter. The key updater. Downloading update. Release. Zero percent. Okay, now this is going to take a long while, and I'm going to turn off the speech so you won't hear it. And occasionally you'll get a percentage on your screen. Now I'm going to be talking about what this update's going to do. And I'll tell you, I'm not going to be here for the whole process of the update. Although, um, I could boot up the brown note touch after it's done. I can do a, another one. If, it should take about at least, it's, what, 440. It should take about at least 30 minutes to an hour. So I might do another update. Now what's happening right now is the firmware is updating. Firmware is, um, system near brown note, it's updating right now. This is going to be a big advantage, and I can't wait. And also, um, the firmware is basically all of the new features. What? Unfortunately, oh, Google Plus has stopped. Okay, ASR stopped. Okay, that's fine. Some of the apps will crash a bit, and if some of your apps crash, then yeah. Now, if your screen locks while this update is, while this firmware is being downloaded, just unlock it. It should be fine. Once you unlock it, it should be fine. It's at 6%. This is pretty, it's going pretty quickly, so I'll just be talking through this whole video. What happens is, it's at 8, it's really going quickly this time. Last, last time it wasn't going quickly because of my internet connection when I downloaded 3.0. But this is a huge advantage because... First of all, YouTube's going to be a lot better. Apps that you don't want to update can be improved. The space and backspace can now be used as navigation, which is going to be cool. So I like using space and backspace. Not backspace, but I mainly use space. And I haven't um, played around with it, but I was going to do more tutorials. But now I have more reasons to do more brown the touch tutorials and demos. Because now with this new update, I can show you what's up and what's going on now you're now the all the firmware is downloading now what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose if you have speech on you're gonna lose speech once it's at hundred percent downloading then I'm gonna repower it and it's going your brown on touch is going to shut down when it shuts down repower it up it's gonna say starting key soft the dot will spin and then your update will install and this will probably take up to 10 minutes to install so this is not installing, this is just the firmware setting up. Which um, shouldn't take all that long. Now, um, let me know in the comments below what, what you would like to see me do on the brown note touch. Or what you think, what your favorite things are about the brown note touch. And other coolio things like that. And actually, while this is updating, I'm going to make several videos. It's at 20%. So, I'm going to end this video and make a video called Pros and Cons of the Brown Note Touch. Music lover signing off, but always remind you that at times it's okay to be random.